Now, today's video I'm going to be talking about Zaire Wade. So we all know Zaire is currently a senior in high school, attending Sierra Canyon School that's located in Chatsworth, California. Throughout this year has been very interesting for Zaire just because he managed to pick up a few offers from different schools like DePaul University, Rhode Island, Toledo, and many more. And also throughout this year, Zaire Wade has suffered a serious ankle injury that kept him out for a few games during the beginning of the season. But this video, I just want to give y'all a college update on Zaire Wade and just explain to you guys the top two schools that's showing him the most interest so far. Before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace and also go subscribe to my second channel called TK Wallace Vlogs. I will put both of those links in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Now let's get to the video. So first, let's talk about Zaire Wade. Now, just a few days ago, Zaire had an interview with Evan Daniels. And during that interview, he explained that right now, there's two schools that has been reaching out to him the most and also is very interested in him. So if you guys are not informed, the two schools that Zaire is talking about is DePaul University and TCU. Now first, let's talk about DePaul University. Now, DePaul University already offered Zaire Wade a few months back and they already had a lot of interest in him. They've been sending him an offer and everything. So honestly, DePaul is just waiting for Zaire to commit to them so they can just put him on the list. Now for TCU, TCU is a whole new school that's been recruiting Zaire Wade. Right now, they currently have not sent him an offer because they're still scouting him and they're still debating if they want to send him an offer or not. But I know you guys remember, TCU did offer Zaire Wade's former teammate, Taryn Frank, who is currently a four-star player in the ESPN. So it's just like, Taryn Frank is already committed to TCU and they're also trying to bring in another player such as Zaire Wade. So most likely TCU eventually will send Zaire Wade a offer and Zaire already said himself that he wants to take a unofficial visit to that school right after the season is done. And on top of that, if you guys do not know, Zaire has also explained during that interview with Evan Daniels, that TCU has been contacting his father D Wade about him, you know, such as checking up on him, seeing how he's been doing and everything. So TCU is clearly interested in Zaire, but they have not sent him an offer yet. So I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on TCU because it seems like they're going to send Zaire a offer very, very soon. They're just waiting for him to prove himself more just because he's been dealing with a lot throughout his senior year playing with Sierra Canyon. Now for DePaul University, it's honestly the exact same thing. They've been contacting his father, D-Wade, asking about him and everything. And honestly, you guys, in my opinion, it seems like DePaul might be number one on Zaire's list right now. And the reason why I say that, because during that interview, he also stated that DePaul has been texting him a lot, his father a lot also, they've been reaching out, and he said he liked the coaches and everything. So he clearly likes DePaul University. And on top of that, they're located in Chicago. We all know D-Wade and Zaire both are from Chicago. So DePaul is basically a hometown school. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're number one on his list right now. But Zaire is definitely taking a step back and just waiting to see if he's going to receive more college offers from different and bigger schools. Just because we all know Zaire Wade, he's a big name even though he's only ranked as a three star on ESPN and 24 seven sports. So it seems like Zaire is just trying his absolute hardest to receive bigger offers. And if you guys have not realized, it seems like they deranked Zaire back to a three star player. And honestly, I feel like they did that because of his ankle injury. When Zaire Wade had that ankle injury, he was sitting out for a few games and they did rank him to a four star player. But right after his ankle injury, he went right back down to a three-star player. And that's on ESPN and 24-7 Sports. I want you guys to leave your comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about Zaire Wade's college decision. Do y'all like the schools that's already offering him? Or do y'all feel like he should receive bigger and better offers? I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press the notification button to get game. We out.